Here you see our broken ring magnet. It's one part of it. Here you can see the entire broken ring magnet as sort of reassembled. You can see the dielectricity torquing around in a Dorje like formation. The hypertrochoid pattern around it of our convergent and divergent magnetism, the dielectric field and discharge. What is reciprocating around in the middle is dielectricity because now. Since the magnet is flipped over, as it folds itself due to dielectricity, you can see as I turn the magnet, all these little crossing points like right here, that is electrification. That is an empirical point where electricity is measurable. All these bright crossing points is a point of electrification between dielectricity and magnetism as I'm moving the magnets in space and time. These bright little wisps, these blurred little formations, that is electrification. Dielectricity, magnetism, space and time. Yes, you can get electricity out of a single moving magnet. Here we have two magnets, but you can see the same point in taking dielectricity and magnetism, i.e. the magnet, and moving it in space and time. They are rotating around a four pedal pattern, which is the dielectric center point of convergence. They're all pointing away from there. The magnetism is all pointing away from that center point that crossing point.